the first thing you got to do is remove this little lock okay uh, you can use a small little flat head screwdriver there is like a notch right here and you you place it in there and you kind of try and stab it in and at the same time prying out you also have to hold this lock up because at the very bottom you need to leave that exposed so that that little square can pop out not a hundred percent out it just has to come out like so you know, now it's out and then you simply remove it then you have that little cover right here that's covering up hardware simply popping it up like so we're going to use a 10 millimeter to remove the two screws that are in here This one right here, this plastic uh, window switch that holds the window switch in place, uh, that one you just simply pull up. It's held down by a couple of locking tabs. And it's just a simply pull straight up. Okay. See it's locked in by that one and this one back here. And you have a connector here for your window switch. You push down, and then you push in and pull. Then you have another cover over here. You use the same small flathead screwdriver and pry it open. You have another 10 millimeter screw. After removing that 10 millimeter screw, you can now begin to pull the door panel off. It's held on by, by locking tabs, just like these. And you're going to start at the bottom. Once you've popped it loose like that, your um, your lock rods right here. So you want to make sure that you raise the door panel up so that you can go past it. That way you don't bend the the locking rod. Okay. So. Now that we've got to this point, do not remove the door panel yet because you're still connected to your door handle. You're going to slide this one out that way. But right there you have those two little flaps in the bottom and up top right there. You have to squeeze those together so that you're able to pull the cable out that way. Okay, so you get a pair of needle nose pliers and you pull it out that way. The placement of the needle nose pliers has to be like so. Now you want to expose the internals of the door and uh, try and keep this, this black adhesive uh, material onto the foam padding as you're removing it. Bear in mind where, where your door handle cable goes through, go through this hole right here. And that door handle cable out the way, we're going to move over to demonstrating on the new uh, door lock actuator. Um, what you want to do is, on the door right now, this is the placement of how that goes. That, let's see that being the outside this in here being the inside okay um, you'll be looking at it 
when you when you stick your head into the door, you're gonna be seeing this side of the door lock actuator, okay? Um, so what you wanna do, door handle from the outside, it has a rod right here that attaches to this. Um, you wanna pry this open. You can use your, your fingers. You don't have to get a tool up in there or anything. And the rod comes through here. Once you pop it open like this, you'll be able to pull the rod out, okay? And your inside door handle cable goes in through here and attaches right in there. Okay, so we're gonna leave this one attached uh, for the removal process. And you're gonna have a connector up here with, uh, it's gonna be a U-shaped connector. So it's gonna go like, like that. And you'll see the two little purple legs sticking out the bottom. So what you're gonna do with that is you're gonna try and get a flathead screwdriver up top, fit it up in there, and then pop it up to release the um, to, to release the connector. But before we do that, uh, for for video purposes, because I can't get the phone up in the door, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the three bolts, the three three fasteners, torx fasteners that are holding this latch into place so that I can actually get up closer and, and show you the connector that you have to remove. To remove these three fasteners, you're gonna use a Torx 30 and a ratchet or, or impact gun or whatever you have. Once you have to remove the three fasteners, you're going to push this door inner door handle cable uh, to behind this harness right here, okay. so that you can actually pull this one up and out of there. Uh, now you are going to be connected to the lock rod, which which runs up there. I'm just trying to demonstrate. Um, how to remove the, the inside door, the outside door handle clip because it's not exactly the same way as the real one in this case. And just in case you run into that same issue where it's not the same, um, I'm going to show you how to remove that. So the way you remove that yellow fastener is there's a little tab on that corner so all I'm gonna do is push it push into it and then release so all I'm trying to do is push up on that little push into that little tab and that's that it releases it okay I use that little small flat head screwdriver and then that comes loose now do keep in mind your lock up there, okay, you need to try and fish that one out as well at the same time. And you bring it towards the bottom, because there is more room at the bottom. It's narrower. It's narrower up there and it gets wider as you go down. Now, to remove the electrical connector, You're going to put the flathead underneath this purple tab and pop it up. I don't know if that's coming out on camera. See, this was, this was pushed in like so. Come in through the back. Flip it 
kind of blocking the view here a little bit, but I'm, I'm prying up on it so that the other side can also pop out. Once you have done so, keep pulling. Eventually, up to you get it to its highest point, you will find yourself that you have slid your way out of the out of the plug. And you have slid the connector out. I don't know if you can see that. We started off over here, and as we were sliding this purple uh, clip up, it was riding up on this little um, what is it like a little like a little plastic stud on the on the connector right here on the plug, and uh, it slid out. Okay, and now you just gotta get it out from in there. So once you have removed the actuator, you're going to compare the two. Make sure you have the correct part, of course, um, before even continuing. So as we can see, they're all the same. They're both the same. So pay very close attention on how everything here goes, so you can transfer it over. So this one, you're gonna you're gonna pull up, pull and slide out. The same thing. Now this one you're gonna push in and slide it into place. Okay, and that's your lock. That's how your lock works. Now we're gonna go ahead and transfer this one, the the door handle, the inner door handle. What you're gonna need for that, you're gonna need one of those pliers. You're gonna squeeze those two tabs. And this little ball up front, you're going to slide it down. That's that. Get your new one. Slide it up in there. You might have to pry up on this a little bit. Get it under there. And then you snap this one and you just push it in. Uh, you do not have to transfer this plastic over that one's already got it so you can utilize this one it works the same they rotate you know just in case you're freaking out that yours is sideways they rotate um, make sure you have the same amount of prongs inside of the connector make sure that the connector looks physically the same as well that way um, your, your plug over there can can then slide on successfully so Everything here looks the same. Let's get to it. Okay, so the way we're going to go into this is you're going to hold it like so. And you are going to do this number. You're going to rotate it in, pretty much. Okay, so we're going to go in, go as low as we can go, and then rotate it in. Once you rotate it in there, <clears throat> it gets past this bar. For this structure right here, it goes past that, and then, then you can start the reverse process of what we just did. And we're gonna plug in this connector. Same process. We're simply gonna push in, and as we're pushing in, we're gonna be sliding this purple piece on there, that that purple U clip, and then. Now, if we go up there, 
we're gonna have that hole right here for the lock so as we're going up we have to align that lock so that it goes back in there where it came out from Okay, so then we come outside to the outside of the door and we line these holes and put our, our uh, mounting hardware back on. And we make our way back into the door. Just use the compressor. I don't know how loud that's coming out on camera, but that's the compressor, everybody. So here we have that uh, outside door handle rod, or the rod that connects to the outside door handle. We're going to push that one into that orange clip. And since the camera's in the way, it's very difficult to do so. And trying to have a flashlight on it same time but pretty much you're gonna try to put that one up in there into the little groove and then close cl close this um, close this tab back up with this rod in there okay. there's these two little ears there's one down here and one up there I'm trying to get them in between I'm trying to get this rod in between that See if I can get this out of the way so you can see better. Before I clip this in place, I'll I'll show you how it's all sitting before clipping it in. Here, I'm just pushing in. Here, I'm just pushing in the bottom. Right there, it already popped into place. So all I gotta do is turn this clip down and lock it into place, just push it down. Once you have pushed that tab into place, and that clip, and it clips, a lot of times you won't hear it clip, but it's as long as you know it's sat into place, uh, go ahead and, and take this time to test. So the way you can test it out is by using a flathead screwdriver. You, you push it into your latch like so and then you have someone else pull on the door handle outside you know here I got my buddy out there so the, we'll show you again right there okay now I'll show you how the mechanism works through the inside uh, hang on a second we'll just get a light okay so right there it's locked into place and then And that's the door handle being pulled. Okay. Same same goes for your lock. Make sure that it you know functions up and down. Uh, lock it. Test out your your door latch. And uh, I mean uh, your door handle. Make sure that it is locked. And you know just check out your power locks at this time. Um, and then we'll begin reassembly. Okay, so here we're gonna test power locks. Okay, that's locked and unlocked, so it works. Do not forget to clip this one back on. This one goes right up here. Okay, so don't forget to run this one in through here. Sorry if you guys didn't see what I just did, I don't, I don't even know, but uh, I just popped this clip back into place so that it holds the the door handle cable in the place. Okay, so now we're going to put our foam pad back in. Um, if you have dirty hands, try not to touch the uh, the black adhesive that's on there. So now we're going to go ahead and put that one back on and try to look for where it was at prior to the removal. 
okay? It's kind of difficult to get this wrong because, um, see how it follows a certain shape? Okay, this is where your speaker goes, so can't really get that wrong. So we're going to put cable, I mean our, uh, our little window switch harness through. And we're going to start pasting back into place. You can look for your door handle cable as well. You can go ahead and align these holes where they were at before. Now you make sure that your your threaded holes are exposed right here, right here, right here. Now we can bring in our door panel, and what we're going to do is we are going to attach a little ball into this hole right here first, and then we're going to slide the cable down, and then swing it over and then push the cable in. See right there, right? I latched the little ball into that little socket that was there. Let's see if I can bring that and make sure it's coming out on camera. Uh, and then I just swing this one over and push it into place. Push it forward towards the inside of the truck. But all I did was push it in. So I pushed it into place. Once we have done that, You want to fish your connector through. And then start putting your door panel back on. So once you have installed, okay, so once you have connected your, uh, your inner door handle cable to the inner door handle and fish through your your window switch harness. Uh, now you want to make sure you wash your hands at this point because after handling the inside of the door you might have gotten your hands really filthy by that time so if you're dealing with a customer's vehicle you want to keep your hands clean you want to get their their panels you know dirty and even if they already are you still want to you know make sure you do a clean job yourself you know? uh, so while you're installing this, you want to push it, you want, you want to bring it up, push it as close as you can to the window, and make sure that your, uh, your lock rod is coming through the hole, okay? And also, at the very bottom of this door panel, there is, there is a uh, hook that hooks onto a little square hole on the door. Okay, you want to make sure that one goes in as well. So once that goes in, start pushing the door panel into place. So once you're pressing the panel back on, um, you want to make sure you support the door. You don't want to be pushing up against it, damaging the hinges. Okay. So you want to make sure that you're holding the back of the door, supporting it as you're pressing it in. And if it doesn't want to fall, just right in. Give it a couple of taps. You're okay doing that. You're not gonna hurt. Make sure you check all your all your edges. Make sure there's no gap. This should not be a gap. If there is a gap, you have an issue. 
and you might not have one of the little tabs that snaps into place. You might not have it aligned to the hole. So you want to make sure you push that in or whatever it is that you got to do uh, to get it to line up. There are two 10 millimeter screws that go up here. background noise. Uh, Joe is actually filming uh, for another video that we're doing and he's in the grinding stage right now so excuse the background noise. Okay, so now we're going to snap this one back into place. It only goes in one way. If you look closely up in there you're going to have a hole at the top towards the top. So if you look at this this one only goes on one way and here's Here's the, the guide that goes into that hole that I'm talking about. So we're just going to simply slide it up in there like that and snap it into place. Same goes for this one. This one has a hole that goes towards the outside of the door. So we're going to have it like so. We're going to put that one in as well. Get your window switch, plug in the connector, make sure you hear it click, and press down, that snaps in. You lock. For your lock, you want to make sure you bring it all the way up to the top, and you pull up on it, pull up, and bring that one up to the top. Your lock knob, what you're going to do, is you're going to make sure you pull up on the rod, make sure it's all the way up. Not in the lock position, so make sure it's all the way up. And what you're going to do is you're just going to slide your lock knob on there and slide it all the way down until it hits that little bottom of the square. Once it hits the bottom of the square, you simply push on that square and it locks into place. And just test it out, make sure it's functioning, and you're good. At this point, we've completed our door lock actuator replacement. Um, if you have any questions, if I miss something uh, on this video, feel free to leave a comment. Um, and I'm generally pretty good about answering questions rather quickly, and I tend to not miss any questions. Uh, if I if I do in the future, I'm sorry, but you know I'm generally pretty good about not. Uh, if you liked our video, please subscribe. Uh, it'll really help us out, and of course motivate us to add more videos to, to further help everybody else out. If you have any suggestions of any other videos or simply have a question about something else and you want us to make a video about it, feel free to you know send, send us send us a message and, and we'll see what we can do about that. Once again, thank you for watching and we hope you, we hope we uh, help you guys out.